М1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств, представляем вашему вниманию бой в полусреднем весе. В синем углу рейджа спортсмен из Швейцарии. Приветствуйте, Пабло Уртман! Павло Ортман, Швейцария! From Switzerland, Urs Pablo Ortman. Born in Switzerland to a Swiss mom and a Peruvian dad. He's lived in Peru. He's also lived in the United States. Now living and training in Switzerland full time. Three times Swiss Muay Thai champion. Ortman with very powerful kick. Plans on showcasing them in this bout tonight. Enters perfect in his pro MMA career at 5 0. Of Ortman's five pro MMA victories, three by way of finish. Once this showcases Muay Thai, use his reach, use his range in this fight. Most of all, keep it standing. Спортсмен в красном углу рыжа представляет Украину. Приветствуйте, Вячеслав Богомол! Я тебе сказать, без тебя не могу спать. И мне спокойно спать. A great start for Vyacheslav Bogomol in his pro MMA career. Began eight wins in his opening eight bouts. Since then, he's definitely struggled. Just one victory in his last four bouts. All three of those defeats by way of submission. This is the 13th pro MMA bout for Vyacheslav Bogomol. He has never gone the distance. Not in victory, not in defeat. In fact, he has made it past round two just once in his career. Yatislav Bogomol wants to work to the inside, solve the reach and range of Urs Wortman. Heavy pressure in the stand-up, get into the puncher's pocket. fight will very much be about range. Would be the outside game of Ortman or the inside game of Bogomol. Итак, господа, трехраундовый бой в полусреднем весе. Представляю вам спортсменов. Спортсмен в синем углу, ему 26 лет. Вес 77,1 кг, рост 183 см. Профессиональный рекорд. В пяти боях пять побед. Он чемпион Швейцарии по тайскому боксу. В синем углу рейджа Пабло Уртман, Швейцария. 
И его соперник в красном углу, ему 22 года, вес 76,8 кг, рост 180 сантиметров, профессиональный рекорд, 9 побед, 3 поражения. Он чемпион Украины по ММА по версии World Cossacks Fight Federation, чемпион мира по смешанным боевым единоборствам. Представляет команду Бранибор Тим из Украины, приветствуйте, Вячеслав Багамол в красном углу. Рефери в ринге Петр Суворов. You know the rules. Hello the rules. Listen my comments. Touch the gloves. Back to the corner. Concise instructions from referee Petr Suvorov. In the welterweight division, Urs Pablo Ortman from Switzerland versus the Ukrainian Vyacheslav Bogomol. Round number one. It's a very tentative touch of gloves machine. Oh, nice right. I'm straight away from open. And again, Ortman oh, using that rain. The left, oh, left as he stepped in, straight to the takedown for Ortman. Very aggressive. We talked about keeping this fight standing, showcasing his Muay Thai. Working the armbar. He's working the armbar. He's got it. Bogomol looking to go belly down, snatch the arm. Well, very aggressive from the onset of Dortmund. Caught no boy, he gets it. That, that is tight. tight. That is tight. He needs to rule. Oh, there was no tap there. Superov, I think, was ruling technical oh. submission. Wow. Ortman did not tap. You tap. On, on the first time, on the first time, you tap. Superov is telling Ortman you tapped on the first time. Ortman saying he didn't tap, he simply based onto the canvas. Well, referee's decision is final, but we'll watch the replay here. It is a nice tight armbar. Ortman should have moved his legs around the head of Begamol. Well, we couldn't see the other hand. It's the other hand we need to see. The hand that tapped, that's what the referee claims. Now the referee can rule a technical submission that if he feels that the fighter is in danger in his submission, he can stop the fight, but that's not the case here. Suvorov is claiming Ortman tapped. Ortman is saying, I absolutely did not tap. What I'm gathering, I'm not, not that I'm, I'm very clever at Russian, but what I'm gathering is the referee uh, that he tapped once. The head judge is saying he has to tap three times. Once on the canvas doesn't mean it's a tap. Once could be in a pressure to push back off, uh, whatever. The, but he's claiming uh, that there wasn't the, enough signal uh, to the referee to tap. Okay. Is this 1989 and we're at the Gracie Academy? Yeah, it looks like. Who has to tap three times? But Ortman saying he never tapped okay. once, that he simply based down. It looks like we're going to continue. Here we go. So watch again the hand of Pablo Ortman, the right hand. He bases down there. Absolutely no, no tap. No tap whatsoever. No chance. No stop, tap stop, stop. whatsoever. So from a win to a restart, Bogomol thought he won. Stop. And the most awkward of restarts in the belly down arm bar machine. Well, a big mistake by the referee. Oh, oh, looking to slam out. Right Huge hand. right hands down the knee. Well, he's going to make him pay for that. He was very lucky not to lose the fight. And now he's going to convince the referee that he didn't tap and he wants to finish clearly. There's an armbar attempt of his own. Fishing for the triangle now. The triangle now. Walking his legs very high, snatching the far side leg. Oh, there's an armbar. He's got it. Which is back to triangle. Back to armbar. Not have his foot in his knee. Tight. Now that's he better. does. That is very tight indeed. Portman, very, very tight. He tapped. He tapped. This time, wow. that's a definitive tap. What a controversial fight. But what a great win. In very unconventional and far from easy fashion, Urs Pablo Ortman is now 6 and 0. To be honest, Ortman did not tap. Even in slow no motion, question. even in slow motion, you can clearly see he pushed off the canvas. He did not tap. So Bogomol thought he had the win. The decision of referee Petr Suvorov was reversed. Replays, he said machine confirmed it. Ortman never tapped. He simply based down on the restart. Then Ortman finds the triangle, and no dispute this time as Vyacheslav Bogomol taps. To be honest, 
I really think the referee stopped the fight because he thought that Orton was in danger. Not the fact that he tapped. He was he was kind of shocked the fact that he's in an armbar. He should really be tapping. I'm going to stop the fight. And if he feels that way, if Petr Subarov feels that way, then it's a technical submission and he can let the result stand. So perhaps Subarov lost his nerve. <laughs> Definitive though, Ortman never tapped. The Sheen, I was a boxing referee for a long time and I was taught on day one to stand by your So now 6-0, and oh, the winner by way of first round submission, Orts, Pablo Ortman, and he's telling me I absolutely did not tap. Indeed he didn't, he thought he lost, then he comes back to defeat Yatislav Bogomol.